Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce theme with the REST API. In the previous episode, we used the REST API endpoint get products to fetch the products onto the front end. And as you can see now that we've got the names of the products being displayed in the form of a grid. In this episode, we are going to render the other informations like the image, etc. Okay. So here we are, we have this products. We are looping through the products and we are displaying the heading of the product here. And the next thing we want to do is add the image. And for that, we'll use the next JS image component because it already provides many features like optimization of the image, etc. If the image is very large, it's going to ensure that it's going to render the smaller size of the image. So I'm going to go ahead and use a code snippet that I've written to save time and then I'm going to explain to you what happens. So the first thing we're going to do is create a component and we'll call it as image, so image directory and then inside of that index.js. The reason why we are creating a separate component for image so that in future if you want to change the image implementation maybe there is an update in next year which requires you to add a different attribute to the image or probably import it from a different package altogether you could do that from one place rather than having to go to each and every component and looking at the instances of image component and replacing them all so Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to paste this. This is an image component. I'm also going to install two packages. First is the class name. So let's do that. npm install class name. And then I'm also going to install the prop types. Okay. So class name basically allows us to dynamically render the class names, right? If you hover over it, you can see it's a simple JavaScript utility for conditionally joining class name together, right? And then you also have the prop types and it's a runtime checking for react props and similar objects. It basically lets us know what is the intended type of properties that are supposed to be passed to that particular component. You can also add some defaults. All right. So we've got two packages installed, two packages installed. Next thing we'll do is we'll have the default image URL. So we're going to go to the utils and we'll, we already have constants uh, over here. And then I'm going to just create a file called image or images. And inside of that, I'll create a constant. This is going to be uh, export const default image URL. And we're just using placeholder.com image URL there. Let me just quickly see what's the width of the, let me see the width of these grids. So I can accordingly put that. So each of them is 380 by, two. so it's 380 actually. So let's do it 380 and it's supposed to be square. So let's do 380 by 380. So that's that. And then I just need to import it properly. So I'm going to get rid of that image URL and it's all automatically imported that for me. Okay. So I explained to you what, what's happening here. So we have an image component that we are importing from next image and then you can go on to the next image documentation and you can see what are different properties it offers you. So there's your next JS image component. There are some examples available. You can check out this example for image component here. Uh, then it explains what are the properties you can pass, etc. So we have created a wrapper component called image uh, so that we can use it. And then it accepts different props like all text, title, width, height, source URL, class name. Uh, there's other properties like uh, layout, object fit, which are your CSS properties, container class name, whether to show default or not. Or if you want to pass any other properties, you can pass it here. Okay, uh, we check if the source URL uh, or source default, show default is false. If it is false, then return null. But if it isn't, then we check the type of the layout. If it's fill, then it's just going to create an object called attributes. And it'll have different properties like alt for all text, which is going to use the title by default. So in case if the all text is not available, it's going to use the name of the product as the alt text for accessibility. 
then the source so this is going to use the source url or if show default property is set to true then it's going to use the default image url otherwise it's going to be empty and then layout property will be fill so so you can see that you can pass the layout property the different options you can pass in this case we are passing fill okay so which basically fills the container now we put the position relative you give the container class name and then you pass put the image attributes otherwise if you if the layout property has not been passed as fill then we just render the image uh, normally by just passing all of the attributes that are there for the image that has been passed as props okay and then this is just basically using the prop types package over here and uh, it's just saying okay well this component expects this kinds of props and these are my default okay and then i can basically give this like product image okay the show default property is going to be set to true so in case if you don't pass anything then it's going to automatically show the default image which would be the constant that we have created here just it's just super useful when you create constants you just have to change at one place and it automatically changes everywhere else okay <laughs>